is called our L swing drill. Excellent drill to accomplish many facets of your golf swing. We see a lot in teaching uh, higher handicap players or new students as they swing the club back because of an improper grip, bad grip pressure. We see a lot of back swings where there's absolutely no hinge at all in the wrist. They know the club's supposed to get up to the top over their head somewhere, so they start to cock using their elbows. This is gonna really disconnect your golf swing and take a lot of power away. When you watch the great players and you take them back to a, to a halfway or three quarter position, you'll notice that they have some wrist angle, so they're cocking their wrist, not their elbows, and that's what gets a great looking L at this position in their backswing. All right, so again, from setup into my backswing, as I swing back, there's gonna be a little bit of shift onto my right foot followed by a pivot or, or body rotation. As I do that, I'm gonna blend in some hinge. So at this position here, the shaft in your left arm is gonna form the letter L. All right, we're gonna mirror this position on our follow through. So as I start down with proper sequence, a little bit of shift followed by some rotation, and I release or let the club go, and go through about three quarters of the way, you'll see that another L is formed on this side, all right? That's really good evidence that you released or closed your club face as you swung through. If you do not release or you get any sort of block or chicken wing or improper release action, no L will be formed on this side. All right, so again, normal setup position. Wrist cocked to form a nice L here. Left arm's gonna remain fairly straight, not locked or hyperextended, relaxed, but straight looking proper sequence to start my downswing, I've got to let it go and form another L on this side. All right, so there's going to be an L formed on your backswing and an L formed on your finish. This will really create a lot of club head speed in your golf swing. Full swing drill, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the swing plan of your golf swing. We, in, the, in our toe up drill, we talked about where the club shaft should be halfway back in relation to the target line and halfway through in relation to the target line. Now, as we start to add hinge into our backswing and more body motion, the club obviously is gonna swing back further. Your plane angle checkpoints utilizing the L swing drill are gonna be as follows. So when I set up my normal posture and take it to my good L checkpoint, you'll notice here, once I pass halfway back, the angle now, very simple. We want the end of the golf club to point down at the target line. That's gonna keep you on the proper swing plane. So again, as I swing it back, I want to get the end of the golf club, when I cock my wrist and make my L, to point down in an extension of that target line. If we're way off plane at this checkpoint, again, there's only two possibilities. If I roll the club too much to the inside and go to a nice L, the butt end of the club or the end of the club's pointing off at the horizon. This is going to be a very, very flat or inside golf swing, okay? The other way that you can get off plane a little bit is to be too steep. So at, the check, at your L checkpoint, the, the end of the golf club would point down at your feet, all right, or inside the target line. So now the shaft's tipped over this way, very hard position to hit golf shots from, all right? So this would be too steep if the shaft is vertical, pointed at your feet, and this would be way too flat or too around your body if the shaft or the end of the club points at the horizon. Same thing on your follow through. As I follow through into my L position, same, same, same position. As I shift and turn my body and allow my arms to release, the end of the golf club is gonna point down or should point down in an extension of that target line. Again, some off plane positions here in your follow through position. If I really roll the face too close too early, you're gonna tend to look over here like this. The right shoulder will come up high, pulled shots, hooked shots, real low shots. The end of the golf club, again, is going to point out the horizon. That would be too low and too left. Block, slicers, no releases. As they come through to this position, the shaft's going to point well to the left of the target. Club face will never have closed. Normal shots on the golf course are going to go way to the right. When you're swinging the slinger, the ball's going to stay in the cup too long and go way high and to the left. So again, your checkpoints are into the club at the target line, into the golf club at the target line. Excellent drill for plane and release.